Hi everyone, I'm Christy, your cybersecurity engineer, and welcome back to another cybersecurity topic with Farai Magazine. And today we will be discussing a very relatable topic, which is regarding browser extensions. Uh, actually, almost every one of us uses this type of extensions for different purposes because they offer different functions. But the thing is, reports have shown throughout 2021, 2022, and also this year, that there are some different types of extensions circulating online that pose security threats. So let's take a look at the, some of the most common security risks that come from browser extensions. One of the most common risks would be data collection. The thing is, we all know that different softwares can collect data about us, but the thing is, it becomes a risk in the moment that they start collecting data without our consent. And this is the case that has happened from different extensions throughout these last years. Because this type of extensions can collect your data, your personal information, without your consent or your permission. And when we are talking about personal information, we're talking about stuff for data such as your first name, last name, your gender, your nationality, your personal number of identification, and also in some cases, even your location. This is why we always have to watch out for the terms and conditions before we download a specific extension. Another common risk would be phishing attacks, as always. The thing is, in our case, this type of phishing attacks are triggered in the moment that you download this specific or malicious extension. So what does this mean? This type of malicious extensions have implemented in them or embedded in them some malicious code that in the moment that you download them and implement these extensions into your browser, then it triggers this malicious code to perform malicious activities, such as it can even record your different mouse movement or keystrokes on your keyboard. So in a way, it's like a browser hijack where it can record or hijack your whole session while surfing the net. And this type of extensions can even lead you or lure you into downloading them. Uh, one common example would be regarding extensions that had been uh, circulating online about ChatGPT. So an example would be when ChatGPT officially launched their browser extension, and in the moment that they launched their browser extension, different extensions started circulating online, which resembled or were a copy of ChatGPT. Even the logo was the same. But the thing is, this type of extensions were malicious and were, in a way, trying to lure the user in order to download them so they can go on with performing different malicious activities. Another common risk would be adwares. We have seen different extensions actually that have ads in them, but this isn't the case. We are talking about different extensions that besides performing their actual function, they also have adwords in them, which are malware ads that can lure you into clicking into them, which can even lead into performing different malicious activities later on, such as, for example, installing a malware into your device. This is why we always say, be careful when you are clicking on an ad. And last but not least, one of the most interesting but common threats coming from uh, browser extensions would be crypto mining. Uh, it is a well-known fact that in order to produce cryptocurrencies throughout the process of crypto mining, it requires a lot of resources. That is why in this type of cases, uh, different extensions that have been circulating online generates a crypto mining process, which means it uses the resources of your computer in the moment that you download this extension into your browser. It starts this type of process, the crypto mining process, using your computer's uh, resources in order to generate cryptocurrencies without you knowing it. So it's funny, but we have seen it happening a lot. Uh, so uh, besides all of these common risks, here comes the part of, okay, we know the risks, but what can we do in order to prevent them or avoid them in the first place? And the simple question uh, can be answered very easily, actually, because uh, in this type of cases, what you can do, it would be to always have your browser updated at first. Always watch out from different extensions whenever you are downloading them. And when we are talking about watching out, it means that you have to choose extensions coming from official vendors and not from suspicious vendors. 
And another thing that you can do would be to always see user reviews. Because if you see some comments that are negative about this extension, that is a sign that perhaps you should not download it immediately. Just do a little bit of research before downloading an extension on your browser, because it can really pose some security threats. And of course, keep your devices updated and always use antivirus software in order to keep your device safe and secure. So that was it for today. And if you have any other suggestions that you would like for us to talk about for our next topic, please feel free to write us a message or drop us a link or even write a message in this video down below. And we'll be happy to comply next time. So that was it for today and see you next month. Bye.